Hi everyone, Wax Broad here, and welcome back to episode 24 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. Guys, I am super excited to start this episode. I'm, let's just get right into it. We have um, we have updated the world to 1.18, and uh, I've, I, actually, we are using fabric now. I've never used fabric before, but we are using fabric, and uh, that is because we have joined recently joined the Legacy SMP, so guys, feel free to check those S, uh, SMP episodes out. I cannot wait to get those started. Oh my gosh, I, I'm super excited to be with so many talented content creators like it is it is just it's so exciting right now like my my brain is going like a million miles a minute with like all these ideas and it's, it's just wild felix what are you doing buddy let's go we got it we got to go i'm um, right now felix and i are off to go find a bunch of new 1.18 chunk because i want to see the new landscape i want to see everything that's going on why does it me keep making me hop off of felix felix why are you doing that What's going on? Why are you doing that, buddy? As I go out into the distance out here, might as well remind you to... Uh, oh my god, that Enderman. Might as well remind you to just go ahead and join the Discord if you want to. And uh, feel free to subscribe here if you want. We just hit 17,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for 17,000. That really means a bunch. The merch link is down below, as well as the Twitch link if you want to catch us on the live stream. We stream every single day, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Like, even out here, there's like a bunch of bees. There's just like random bees literally everywhere. There's like one over here, too, I believe. And oh, oh my god, yeah, right here. They're they're everywhere. They just fly away from our home, and they, they just never really come back. I need to go around this pond, because the horses, they, they cannot swim. They cannot swim at all. More bees. Oh my god, there's three more out here over this ravine. We are so far. We are like really, we are honestly really far away. We're like a couple hundred blocks away, and there's just, there's bees out here in the middle of nowhere. The horse, we were sinking there. Oh my gosh, we made it. We gotta be getting close, because I have never ventured out this far. Oh, what's up, wolves? How you doing, pups? I've never once ventured out this far. Felix just keeps hopping me off of him for some reason. I'm not sure why, um, but uh, Felix, I, I, really, I really wish you wouldn't stop. You need to stop doing that, sir. I went pretty far out here. Like, I went a couple thousand blocks just to get, like, a good, uh, just a good take at, uh, like, the landscape. And I love this. Like, you guys, if you can't tell, all of the landscape is just a little bit more smooth everywhere it's just it's very smooth in and around like all all throughout and there's very like amplified landscapes like as you can see that taiga in the distance is just like high up in the sky and oh wow there's a ravine i almost i almost took felix out that was not good but yeah i i love this the landscape is just tapered everywhere like super nicely super smooth and the landscapes just look really nice in my opinion but uh i cannot wait to find the mountain biome the new mountain biome looks absolutely crazy Oh my god, I, I, I would love to build something there, or like, to replace that and turn that into a rainbow mountain, that'd be sick. And this town is looking pretty sweet if you ask me, and uh, oh yeah, I mean, down here, uh, at the wells, this was at the latest stream, um, I'm not sure if you were there or not, I don't know if I'm gonna make it with the horse, come on now, buddy. Can he make it? Can he make it? He's not making it, let's go. Come on, let's go this way, don't go that way. I love how the horses just turn around, go the opposite direction of where they need to go, but... Good, 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 good guy, good guy. So we got this guy here. We just be building the wells um, on the on the streams now, just because uh, I don't know. They just add some, they add some extra exterior details around town, and I really do like it. Now the thing that we are getting ready for today is the wither. I am gonna fight the wither, and oh god, I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree. Let's get out. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, we're going for the wither today. I'm gonna pop in those skulls into some soul sand, and I'm gonna see if I can use this. I'm I'm actually the worst horse rider right now. Let's see if I can go this way. Yeah, I'm gonna go pretty far away. Oh no, get the horse out of the fire. That was my bad. Did not mean to. Sorry, Felix. Uh, so what we're gonna do is get, go pretty far away. Maybe 500 blocks away or so. We don't need to go that far. We're gonna dig pretty far down though. We're gonna go down and uh, that's where we're gonna put the wither. We're also gonna bring a bunch of chicken eggs because you can get wither roses uh, from the wither spawn. When it spawns, it explodes and it's gonna kill a bunch of chickens, unfortunately. And uh, once we do that, we're going to get a bunch of wither roses, and we can use those will be pretty useful later on. And before we do anything, we actually want to go at the wither with a powerful bow. My bow is almost out of durability, and this is only going to cost 12 to get the whole thing done, but we want to get punch 2 on this bow here. And now we have an OP bow, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, this thing is nice. Uh, the only thing about it is it doesn't have mending, which, uh, which means we'll just have to make another one uh, after... Pretty much a, a couple months. Uh, it takes me it takes me a while because I, I use my sword a lot. But this wither, you have to use half sword, half bow. I mean, you don't have to, but um, after a while, you can only use one or the other. So basically, uh, I'm actually just maybe gonna go. Maybe I'll just go the same way I went with the horse and uh, just take a dig a dig, dig a nice big old tunnel about 500 blocks from here. 
right here seems like a good spot and there dude there's just there's so many bees like they're everywhere they're around every single corner dude it doesn't make any sense i uh i wish they could find a home but uh i guess i'd need to make more beehives i i really thought that i had made enough and i have been making like extra so i guess it's time to make more So right now, as I collect this deep slate, um, I'm pretty sure we have gone completely into the negative Y level. Or is, yep, yep, there it is. We're at negative five. Isn't that sick, dude? We can go, you can go so deep now. I figured negative five is probably a good place to go because I, I mean, we don't, we don't even need to be all the way down at zero, but now we're at negative five, dude, and might as well get some deep slate while we're down here. Um, not, not a terrible idea, but I'm gonna go this way, just maybe like a couple hundred blocks or so, just to be safe. Even though last, last time I fought the wither, it literally took like 30 seconds. Sometimes it doesn't take that long, sometimes you get pretty lucky. Sometimes it like goes out in weird ways when it spawns and you end up having to fight it a little bit extra, but, uh, if you get lucky, uh, you end up being okay. Well, I'm ready to, uh, fight the wither. We're f throwing our, uh, placeholder chickens right now. They're gonna be our, they're our soon to be wither roses, but, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, oh my god, hopefully I can get a couple more. We only have, like, three or four chickens down there right now. It'd be nice to get at least a couple more. I thought that bringing, like, five to six stacks of eggs would be enough, but, you know, sometimes you get unlucky. But, you know, we can always just come back. Yeah, it looks like we'll have a handful of wither roses, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, here goes nothing. I've never actually tried this in hardcore, so, uh, I mean, here goes nothing. Bada, bing, and bada, boom. Okay. Let's get this done here. Um, he's gonna start doing his thing pretty soon. Oh, chickens. No, 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 go the other way. 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 All right. So that was easy enough. Basically just gonna hit this guy until uh, he can't come this way anymore. I wonder if... Oh, I think Deep Slate actually might be harder for him to get. That's kind of cool. And we're just going to go up the sword now. You're not going to be able to do nothing, bud. Oh my god, I don't even think he's going to hit me once. Or he might have hit me once. Either way, he's done now. Goodbye, sir. Nice, give me that nether star. Sweet! Okay, let's actually just light this up. We don't need anything popping out here. Dude, that was just a big explosion. And we got our wither roses here too. Ooh, we got seven and another star. That is exciting. Oh my god. Well, that was a mission accomplished. First time ever beating a wither on hardcore. Forgot that with uh, 1.18, I mean, I don't even know how I forgot. It's literally just caves and cliffs, not just cliffs, but dude, there's so many, like this deep slate goes so low. Like we're in the negative right now, I think. We are at negative 17. And, like, we can just keep on hopping all the way down here. There's something. There's zombies down here that are, like, screaming around and stuff. But I don't see any diamonds. I don't I don't feel the need to go caving right now. But that's, that's absolutely wild that we at least have that option to do that now. So, it turns out I am out of obsidian. So, I need to go down here to the, I don't know, just, like, regular level 12, 11. Get some lava out and make some obsidian. Because... Um, I didn't even know I was out, so I know there's some lava fields down- lava fields, what am I talking about? Lava pockets, I mean, exactly right here, so I'll just go, bam, let that kind of just play out, hopefully it doesn't hit any of the- any of the torches, we should be good to go, I'll let that go here, and we are good to go. So now I can actually just take this out, ah, uh, isn't this nice, this is just way too nice, oh god, I need to be careful, okay, well that is a good way to, uh, be a wasteful, uh, don't be doing that. I only need three, technically, for the beacon, but I think I might grab more than three. 
and we got 29 i'm pretty sure this right here is 30 let's check yeah i think 30 obsidian is okay with that uh, that's okay with me we can at least make a couple more portals around here and uh, that's actually getting to different 1.18 areas now that we have uploaded the world or upgraded the world to 1.18 i don't care how far we travel i was actually limiting the my travel like how, my distance just because i wanted the 1.18 terrain to be able to um, spawn everywhere and so now that we can do that I, I'm, I'm gonna go everywhere uh, I'm not getting elytra this episode but definitely next episode we're getting elytra I'm, I, I do want to focus on making this beacon first so let's get some glass up in here we got this let's go I'm pretty sure you just do this you put your nether star in the middle you surround it with glass and then bam you got yourself a beacon that's what I'm talking about dude all right so I'm gonna grab two diamonds because I believe you need to take a couple diamonds with you and in order to make a beacon you need a bunch of you need absolutely, you need so much. You need, you need like a bunch of iron, a bunch of gold, a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of emeralds. I know for a fact I have a bunch of iron. I'm pretty sure I have enough iron to make a couple different beacons. And so, well, what's up, B? How you doing in the sky? I'm going to hop in here and just grab as much iron as I really can. Actually, just make a bunch of blocks of iron. But yeah, this is, oh my goodness. So we'll go, let's just grab it all for now. And uh, we'll turn it all into iron blocks. And then I'm actually just going to, I wonder how many blocks you actually need. Actually, I just looked it up, and it's uh, 164 blocks, apparently, of any of the um, ores. So I'm actually going to do that, and uh, I'm pretty sure we can make 164. We already have 128 right there by making two stacks. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, my God. We should have hooked up some bone meal to this. I can make an unlimited amount of... Oh, my goodness. That's so much. Um, let's actually just get one more stack. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all we need to make a full-size beacon. Um, let's go ahead and just get everything put together over here. Is it nighttime? It might be night uh, It's totally nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep. Close the door behind us. Gotta mind our manners. Let's, uh, let's just do it. We got a big open field for the beacon. I'm pretty sure the bottom one starts with 9x9, nine nine, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I need to stop making mistakes. Actually, no, that's fine. We have to put it in there anyways. And come into an end there, and boom, that is it. Yes, Beaconator, dude, let's go. Oh my god, I am so excited. I love it when we get to have a beacon, dude. It just makes, it brings together the world. Now literally all I need is to get Elytra, and this series is a-OK, -okay, but I need to find the stronghold first, and I, and I want to make, make an entire episode out of finding the stronghold. Actually, you know what? I'm actually starting to think that I, I'm going to take this down and uh, I'm actually just going to put this back somewhere. Oh, that's kind of a sad noise. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put this beacon somewhere where it's actually going to be used because I'm, I'm not going to use it right here. This would just be just for show. So I'm going to go put it somewhere that I'm actually going to use it. There has always been a giant hill over here. And there's granted, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, I mean, this is the giant... Uh, not giant, just a little modern house, little storage system that we made uh, in the long play. But there's a giant, like, little area over here. I kind of wanted this to be more flat, you know. I I'd like this to be a flat area. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out. We're going to go in here, maybe. Yep. So once we take out the uh, the dirt. Actually, oh my god. This is way more dirt than I thought it was going to be. Wait a second. Is this all dirt? No, it's not. There we go. There's all the stone. So what we were looking for was that. So I'm going to take this out real quick make enough space and uh, we're gonna come back and come through i'm pretty sure i didn't take out too much did i no that's all good to go it's all good to go so yeah basically here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put the beacon like right here let's just start it right here we'll go nine this way nine that way and uh that way i can show you guys if you've never seen what a beacon does oh my gosh you just wait and okay we're done there so we'll put this back and bada boom it should be lighting back up there we go okay love that noise so we'll put one of these in and uh, what we do to do that, so we're just going to put some haste on, haste 2 if we can, beacon is a go, and uh, we should have haste 2, there we go, oh my god, and so haste 2 is amazing, because you can go down here, and just like you can do with the dirt, you can do with the stone now, look at this, oh my god, it's amazing, it's the best thing ever, it's the best thing ever, it's like everything turns to sandstone, it's oh, absolutely amazing, dude, absolutely amazing, it makes, oh, I just, I don't even, there's, this makes everything so much more possible, because you can dig out so many more areas, like, it's so much faster, and the only thing is you gotta worry about the durability, because there's been times where I've just been doing this, just breaking everything that I possibly can, as fast as I possibly can, and the, and the pickaxe just breaks, so you gotta be careful, 
but uh, it, this is definitely worth it. I love this. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we're not going to do a build. I know each episode we do something like a big old build, but uh, I don't necessarily have time this episode, and uh, at my workload is just getting out of control. I'm now in the Legacy SMP, which is going to be great. I'm doing. I'm trying to do one episode a week for you there, one episode a week for you here, and then also I have the long plays that I'm still trying to get out, and I have some tutorials that I'm trying to get out as well. So there's a lot of content coming to you, and I'm really, really appreciative. Guys, thanks for helping me hit 7 17,000 subscribers on YouTube. I real that's amazing. That's so cool. Like, thank you guys so much for for helping my helping my dreams come true. And it really does, like, it, I really do appreciate it. I, I really, I, I just, I lose my train of thought so easily when I talk, man. <laughs> oh my god. All in all, though, guys, really do, like, really just uh, thank you so much. Um, any, anyways, just go ahead and follow me on Twitch if you want to as well, if you want to catch the live streams. That's where we stream every single day at 11 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time. The merch is in the description down below as well. We also have our Discord link down there if you want to go ahead and hit up the Discord. We just hit 825 members. Go ahead and join if you want to. It's free and it's fun. And there's also the Patreon link if you want to be a patron. Uh, that also makes you a VIP in the Twitch chat for every single live stream. You get to show off as a VIP there. And also, there is um, your name. It gets put on the end of every single uh, YouTube video that I make. Your, your name will get put at the end of it there. So thank you guys for everyone that is a patron and everyone that supports. I really appreciate you guys. Really, everyone that is just watching my videos, coming to hang out on live streams, it really does mean so much to me to have you guys there. And I, really, this community, I, I couldn't ask for a better group of supporters. And, and you guys are absolutely amazing. Really, just... I, I can't even thank you guys enough. Thank you so much. Um, that's going to be it, though, guys. I really appreciate you. Do something nice for someone and take care of yourselves. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.